Let's have a nice clean fight, gentlemen, and good luck to both of you. In Yankee Stadium. Can he get the jab there against the taller foreman? Who we'll comes and, and brings it to the fight tonight? He's gone more to the jab and the right hand. There's the jab again. Made up for a lack of What's hand speed at times. He looks alive. That's what he does want to see. And he almost got the left hook to the body. Tremendous respect for Yuri. Speed, in spite of being pretty quick. Has Cotto thrown any less hooks to the body so far? Only one, and it landed on the hip. And it's a very powerful shot, so your feet have to be stationary to throw. Once again, Cotto knocks Foreman back. Right hand lands for Cotto. The hurt, the hurt Foreman. He's not doing it by choice, Jim. He's only doing it because Miguel, because Rio won't stand still and allow him to come out of that envelope. Which could open easily if Foreman lands a right hand there. On the brow was opened against Clotty, against Pacquiao, and against Margarito. Good left took upstairs by Cotto. For that reason, exactly what you mentioned, Jim. These early rounds are significant. Foreman's mouth guard drops out of his mouth. Just dropped to the canvas. No particular reason. It almost looked like Foreman spit it out. There's the left hook to the body. Max Kellerman has been looking for that Cotto weapon. Hard right hand by Foreman. Best shot of the fight for him. On the basis of only eight minutes of information, you would have to say so far it looks like the marriage of Cotto and Stewart is figuring to be a success. Thirty to twenty-seven, Miguel Cotto. Jim, I, you know I can't help thinking this, but it's just a thought. Hard right hand by Foreman, and the left hook. And now he sticks the right. And the onus on him is now to try to get even in this round, which Foreman is clearly leading. Hard right hand by Foreman again. That right hand not as damaging as the others. Now Cotto lands the right hand. Set it up with a little jab. If Foreman were able to continue to land that straight right lead like that. Cotto is on the attack. Cotto is very confident. So Foreman really is fighting for his life right now. Hard left hook by Cotto there. Foreman, Yuri Foreman came back, particularly with his right hand, in the fourth round. For Cotto, and maybe the last round and a half for Foreman, and found something in the last round and a half. They off the last two rounds, I would also observe, here's an excellent left hook by Foreman and an excellent left hook by Cotto. The footwork will never stop. Good left hook by Cotto in the middle of that. So to me, Cotto has him fighting a little bit desperately now. And that's when has thrown combinations. The number of exchanges has increased. In terms of the, the distance between he and Foreman. He said Cotto's footwork was a mess. Oh, heck yeah. which, which was not expected to be a good action fight, but... Another left hook. I don't think Foreman could possibly lose any fans as the result of the way he's fought so far. Big progress from the apparent doldrums. First time at 154, Cotto looks comfortable at the weight. Earlier you saw Martirosian, who's six feet. This jab from Cotto has been very beautiful tonight. Left hook across the top. Blocked everything but the one right hand from Foreman. And, clean now, boys. and that's why Foreman is the opponent for Cotto tonight. He can't get any power because he's on his toes. Hey, moving. Another guy table. flat footed, landed hard hooks. The only thing that Yuri Foreman needs is. Oh. Foreman apparently trips right? over a photographer. No, he, his knee gave up. Right? No, he's he has, he has suffered right? an injury. You walk you off? Give me time. Back to the center of the ring, clearly compromised. Cotto may just go in for the kill. For sure. And Foreman can't take his body shot. Oh, if he can't throw with a good body shot. Yuri Foreman hobbling on the right knee. He's done. There's no way he can continue in the fight at this point. Miguel Cotto, I think, is going. Brown is in a fever pitch. The Foreman fans are in ecstasy because their man is closing in on a big win. Oh. Left hook knocks the mouthpiece out of Foreman's mouth. That was a brilliant uppercut hook. By... Good hook by Cotto. Excuse at all. He may not I mean, win.
but he's going to remake his whole reputation. And he's enough. still fighting to win. Yes, he is. Had I been Cotto's corner, I would have tried to leave as much water on the floor as possible to keep his knee given out. Keep Cotto in front of it, or keep Foreman in front of it. And landing his jab. Forey, Yuri Foreman, knee locks again. Almost falls down. And the towel comes in from Yuri Foreman's corner. And Mercanti does not have to stop the fight because of south. But now, Joe Greer, Yuri's trainer, comes into the corner. So Everybody out! Everybody out! No. You all right, champ? You all right? You're fighting hard. I don't want to see you lose like that. Everybody out! Everybody out! Everybody out! What a take charge job by Arthur Mercanti, who simply wasn't going to allow the fight to end. Seeing their fighter in a very bad position, looking out for his best interest. That's true. Precisely the reasons that Harold Letterman mentioned. Blocking Cotto's left hook to the body there. Oh. Cotto comes back with the left hook to the body and cracks it. And now Mercanti's going to stop it. I told and you, that's the knockout victory that Cotto was looking for. I told you, left body shot would have did it a long time. If he landed it, it was over yeah. with. The linebacker, here's the left hook. You see, he threw a right hand to get that elbow up, and there goes a beautiful left hook to the body. I think I told you a couple rounds earlier that if he landed that shot, that would end the fight. That wasn't his knee this time. That was that left body shot. One. The winner by TKO victory, now a four-time world champion and new. WBA Super Welderweight Champion of the World, Dejaro Puerto Rico, Miguel Angel.